as the saying goes, sharing is caring and that's exactly what shared VPCs are all about. This video will show you how to troubleshoot and resolve common issues when creating and managing shared VPCs. To begin, let's take a quick look at some shared VPC concepts. Shared VPC allows an organization to connect resources from multiple projects to a common shared virtual private cloud network so they can communicate securely and efficiently using internal IPs from that network. Typically, in shared VPC, there will be a host project to which you can attach one or more service projects. The VPC networks in the host projects are referred to as shared VPC networks. Resources in the service projects attached to a host project using the same shared VPC network can communicate with one another using their internal IP addresses subject to firewall rules. Keep in mind, Shared VPC uses a security model where organization administrators get to maintain control over network resources like subnets, routes, and firewalls, but they delegate other responsibilities like creating and managing instances to service project admins. For this, Shared VPC requires the following IAM administrative roles. Shared VPC admin, which has the compute Shared VPC admin and project IAM admin roles, for the organization or at least one folder. This enables them to perform various tasks necessary to set up shared VPC, such as enabling host projects, attaching or detaching service projects to host projects. And in most cases, a shared VPC admin is typically the project owner for a given host. Service project admin. To grant a service project admin, the shared VPC admin needs to grant an IAM principle the network user role for the whole host project or subnets that are a part of the shared VPC networks. They maintain ownership and control over resources in the service projects, so they should have the instance admin role for the service projects. They may also have additional IAM roles for the service projects such as being the project owner. Today, I will show you how to troubleshoot and resolve common issues absorbed while configuring or managing the shared VPC. Let's start with the first problem. When a user attempts to set up host project in shared VPC, it fails with the following error. You do not have sufficient permission to view this page. As indicated here, the error occurs due to the lack of compute.projects.get and resource manager.projects.get IAM policy permissions by the user or service account performing the task. To resolve the issue, ensure the user or service account is assigned with Compute Shared VPC Admin and Project IAM Admin Roles or the Shared VPC Admin Role which will have the required permissions to access the Shared VPC page and set up the host project. Now let's look at the second issue where we will try to create a VM in a service project using one of the Shared VPC subnets. Let's assign a Shared VPC network to a VM. Hmm, the Shared Subnet drop-down menu is grayed out and we are seeing an error unable to fetch subnets in this region when you click on the intended drop box. These errors occur because the user doesn't have the compute.network user role to access the specific subnets. To resolve this issue, go to the IAM and admins page for the host project and ensure the user is a service project admin and is granted with the role of compute.network user for the selected subnets in the specific host projects. Finally, let's look at the last issue. Let's detach a service project from the shared VPC. Oh no, it's failing. As denoted in the error, this resource is still linked to the shared VPC host. Hence, we are unable to detach the project. To be able to detach a service project, all the resources in the specific project using the shared VPC subnets must be deleted. To resolve this issue, the required resources from the specific service project must be deleted before detaching it. For more information about the shared VPC IAM rules, check out the following documentation. Thanks for watching.